Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee, and today is really easy. It's just I'm making two freezer meals that equal to 12 meals. Um, these two freezer meals are for my daughter, and she's got a family of six, so these are going to be wonderful for them. On a busy night for her, and slowly but surely, I'm going to help her stock her freezer. Um, making some with some freezer meals so these are easy and my daughter and her family loves these two meals the first one is crock pot chicken tacos and the second one is crock pot fiesta chicken okay so i got my handy dandy bags here and these are going to be easy for her and you if you decide to do them they're nice to have in your freezer on a busy night Okay, so this one is chicken tacos crock pot. Okay, and then all I'm going to do in here is write that she's got to cook it on low for five to six hours. And that's it. So that one is like it. And she knows that, yeah, I know exactly what they all like and what they don't like. Yeah, we're really pretty um, fortunate because they eat just about anything you put in front of them. So that's a different meal over there. So with this meal, we're going to start out. And I've got chicken breasts, and these are enormous. I got these from my butcher. And if you remember when we went shopping, because some people say, well, why are you spending money on all that meat and giving it away? Well, I'm not really doing that. When when we go shopping, just like the last um, shopping trip that we had that I took you with us to Pineview and Ebel's, my daughter loaded me up with all kinds of meats. And we help, family helps family. She helps stock the pantry. I help, you know, stock her with uh ready-made meals and canned goods and all kinds of stuff. So we go back and forth. So this is a good thing. Anyway, take a look at these. These breasts are enormous. I got these from my butcher this morning. I'm going to put two of them in there. Give her two of them because they'll have, you know, this will feed six people, but I'm sure they'll have quite a few leftovers right along with it. Okay, now I had my beans draining. That has to go in the sink. We're going to do one can of black beans without the juice. You're definitely going to want to drain it, okay? And then we're going to do one can of corn or one cup. Set that aside. So we got that in there. These, friends, these are my freeze-dried onions. Now, most of the stuff, with the exception of the taco seasoning and the ranch seasoning, I did, my daughter brought these for me. Usually I make my own taco seasoning. But a lot of this is just my pantry stuff anyway. So we put the onions in there. Now, we are gonna put two cups of salsa in here. That's wonderful, okay? Now we're going to open this up, put this over here. I never use this. Oh, that smells wonderful. We're going to put one whole packet in there. We got a lot of meat in there, okay? And that's all we're going to do with this. It's all labeled. That's how easy it is to put together. We're going to get as much of the air out as we can. Right at the top. Make sure this is sealed really good. Okay? And there we have it, friends. Look at that. Let's put it in there in layers. And then when you put it in the crock pot, it's upside down and it's wonderful. So then your chicken is on top and everything cooks up beautiful and that, that seasoning goes all through it. Now, I'm going to lay these flat as I can. So that leaves room in her freezer. And I do have a tray that I lay them on. And I'll freeze them ahead of time. Okay? 
Easy as pie. Our second one, friends, is our Fiesta chicken. And this stuff is wonderful. So now we're going to do, let's see. I'm going to give her, we got one smaller one in here, and that's all right. I'll take this smaller one. So it's two chicken breasts. And you can also use frozen chicken breasts for this. <clears throat> it won't hurt anything. Our other can of beans. They were draining. We're going to put those in there. That's a good thing. But I know they love beans and corn. And this is this just makes wonderful. She can serve this over rice or noodles. And a lot of times she just puts it over mashed potatoes. My grandbabies love that. Okay. So now with this one, we've got the two cans of Rotel that I need to open. Now I usually use my own home canned tomatoes, but I have these in my pantry. So I might as well use them, you know. So two cans of those in the bag. Then we're going to do one package of ranch dressing mix, or ranch dips. One package of that in there, and then one package of your taco seasoning. Okay. Last but not least, we are going to put two cups of rice. Uncooked. I don't even rinse it. You can rinse it if you want. I don't. We're just going to put that right in there. And look how beautiful that is. Get the air out of that, which makes it easier when the rice is on top. Sometimes these are just a booger to seal, aren't they? There we go. I think we got it. There. It's sealed. That looks beautiful. See the layers in that? Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> so we're going to write on this one. That this one is Fiesta chicken and she is going to add two and a half cups of broth chicken broth or water and I'll write that on there and then just slow cook five to six hours on low. Okay? So there's the other one. And that, friends, is how easy it is to put together. Now I'm going to take those. I'm going to put those in the freezer. And of course, your hubby will be here to pick those up. But I'm sure they're going to love those. And you can make quite a few of them. You could, you could stack your freezer, you know, five different meals, whatever. We'll do more, though, because I got more coming. But I'm not going to do 15 or 20 of them at a time. I'm just going to do a couple at a time for her freezer because mostly she uses this on the weekends because she is a busy gal and she works every single weekend. So I know she's going to love that. So there you have it, friends. I hope you give that recipe a try. And if you don't want to make a freezer meal out of it, you can put it right in your crock pot or in your oven, or you can even use uh, cook this in your Instant Pot. So there you have it, friends. I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.